Oh, welcome, welcome. Um, how's everybody doing? Um, oh, I guess the light is good. Um, I usually have to turn on both lights, but I guess the one lamp on, it looks pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do a special Friday stream. I got off of work early tonight at 8.30, and then I had all my past Twitch streams I had to upload onto my YouTube channel, the Random Chat Series, because they were going to be deleted, a couple of them. And I, I, th I don't think I missed any of them, so I'm hoping the story doesn't jump ahead because I miss uploading a Twitch stream because they delete your Twitch stream 14 days after it's been on your profile. Um, let me go into the chat. You know let the me go into the extra. Is we hope for better things. Oh, she's still going to talk if I go in there. Oh, but anyway, I got off work at 830 because it was really dead. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go home and stream. But it took me forever to download it. Twitch streams and then upload them on my YouTube channel and then first of all if you're watching this um, and you watch my NBA 2k 17 streams I just realized for some reason it doesn't have the uh, the volume during the NBA games and I'm like what the hell so I guess I'm gonna have to do play-by-play -play during the um, the broadcast because it doesn't have the sound it doesn't have the commentary which is weird i'm like why why does it do that but anyway whatever i don't know if i'm going to play nba 2k tonight um because i think it's already 11 o'clock or something so i might stream until a, a one i don't know i might switch off the nba 2k i don't know but anyway hey let's get going um and let's play some detroit to become today. human yeah i hope you're doing okay I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. A little tired, but I'm okay. Anyway, here we go. At least the sound works for that. But anyway, um, yeah, I love playing this game. So this is my third time streaming it. I said last night in my stream that, um, um, that the last two endings or the two last two times I streamed this I got the bad endings so I'm just praying that I don't <laughs> I answer the questions right and <laughs> I don't get the bad endings for Detroit Become Human okay cool this is where I left off last night when I logged off for the night I was thinking about NBA 2K17. Maybe it's because of the music. This is crazy. They the mute it, so they don't get hit with copyright or bullshit now? like that. But the Cyber Life warehouse. I don't know. I'm gonna keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. you guys watch out oh now what to do I'll find another way
Oh, this is where I do the, um... Uh... Oh, I'm following north. Oh, okay. I don't know if I've ever followed north before on this. I thought I always went to the right, whoever the right one is. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. This is where I do that, you know, options of like which way I, you know, how I do it. Okay, I think it's... I think it's this way. too far. Okay. Um. There we go. Yeah, the fine. drone. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Oh wait, shit, wrong way. Marcus, where are you going? Excuse me, I gotta sneeze real quick. <coughs> you were trespassing on private Ooh, property. Me. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? On that one before. First the drone, now this. Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Check the bigger crates.
I'm actually gonna close it. I've never done that before. That's all we can carry. Let's go. That's a different route. I've never Take done that before. You. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back. It's too dangerous. He comes with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? So North didn't like that. They're full but... of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. Oh God, I there hate this. There are two human part. guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. <sighs> it's not worth the risk. We have what we need. We can go over the fence. It's the quickest way out. Okay, then. Let's go. Okay, that was a different way I've done either. I never, I never refuse or not go in there. I, I think I always took North side when I play. Last time I think I got killed or I got caught. We have blue blood and bio components. There will be enough for everyone. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Wow, that was different. Okay, North had um, an arrow down, but now she has an arrow up. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. <clears throat> I am alive. And they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. I still don't see Marcus as a bad guy. So that was definitely a different route. Because I remember um I failed failed to avoid the guards because last time I did it the void the the droid or the droids the uh, the guards to avoid the guards didn't go go my route. So I was like, okay, I've never done that before where I, he re or just said, hey, we got enough, let's go. I've always gone into that building. So, definitely a different route for me. First time ever. Oh, shit, the sex. The sex droids. Uh. Oh, looks like <laughs> somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Sure, oh shit! I remember the last the two times I played this, I killed the the girl's okay. the woman's like lover. Let's get going. Jesus. 
sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Hey, it's north. Connor, the fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. <laughs> oh God, I love Clancy Brown. Sorry, I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. A <laughs> dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? I'm like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Oh, I know. Lieutenant. Cardiac event, heart attack not caused by death. Oop. Severe bruising, signs of strangulation. Asphyxiation? I always mispronounce that every time I play. Oop. Uh, Michael Graham, 6'2, weight 192, has spent time of death, 624. Victim was strangled. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. But well, hey, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. <laughs> oh my god. Reactivation is required. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. There was two of us. 
What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> oh, man. was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then go on their way. You ever had trouble with androids before? No way. Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Expense account. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? It saw something. What are you talking about? It saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell it you changed your mind. Uh, uh, sorry, honey. Changed my mind. Not the personal. You're a lovely girl. I just, uh... Him and, uh, oh, shit. I've... I mean, not with him like that. I'm not that. That's not what I. You, um. Wow. I just. Let's try this one. This better be. Somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Back to the club. 
It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? Well, never know which to direction it took. They just need to find another you android. You have a better idea? Path. I'm all ears. Track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Oh, I think it's the girl. Nothing. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. Maybe it was the janitor, I think. He didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. This one's it. I think it might be the one that's over here. No. Dancing on I lost the... its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Fuck, I'm lost. Nothing. I'm lost. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. Wait, 
Wait, did I just do that one? Oh, man. No. I lost its track again. I guess I couldn't remember which one it was. Well, the two girls never got shot. So. snow before it's pretty it's slowing us down <sighs> but at least we won't meet any humans along the way <sighs> that made me so mad I couldn't remember like which one it was These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Slako killed them. Slotko had a car. I wouldn't want Ellis out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Oh boy. This doesn't look good. Changes like everything. 
What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Then know where we can stay around here. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Welcome to Pirate oh, Island, me hearties. Scared me. You're gonna have what a whale fuck? of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. that her footprints are still in there. Yeah. 
Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. here. That way we won't be smoked out. Blanket for, uh, yeah, for for Alice. Oh, yeah, the brain fart. I couldn't remember the girl's name. Okay, uh, she, oh, there she's over here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Okay, set up. I was just like, wait, she's over there. Alice is right there. What are you doing? Alice? I was like searching at work for the um, the soundtrack, and they don't have the soundtrack only on MP3. They don't have it Do on we'll like CD, and I'm just like, how can you not have this on CD? Once we cross the border, we can start over. I'm like, you can go to school. The music is so good. Maybe I'll find a job. And then we'll be like them, like everyone else. I guess they did a volume. Three volume like vinyl, as but the vinyls are like eighty dollars. I'm like, come on. Okay. Um, I think I've only got the standard um edition for um the terrific computer. But I guess there's like the deluxe edition edition where you get um. Like the soundtrack, and you get like PlayStation, um, Don't worry. like screensavers. Luther and I will be right here. You need to get some sleep now. So, can you tell me a story, Kara? I guess there I was, have um, 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have, I guess, uh, you. I can get it for like $30. This is a story about a unicorn. That... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then, she met a robot who was just as
as lost as the little girl. But yeah, so it's like thirty dollars on the PlayStation together. Store. It's like digital. To find a place where they could be safe. So I'm thinking about then buying this again just for the deluxe edition. They were so brave, they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of, and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Hmm. <laughs> brave. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free. <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Um. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. <coughs> it wasn't really me. I like Victor. He's a really cool character. Have you ever noticed anything? About Alice? No, what are you talking about? Uh oh. Ah! I don't think it's the Jehovah Witness. Jerry, we were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. <laughs> she looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Yeah. Come on, Kara! Oh, the merit, uh... Carousel. 
Be our guest. Be our guest. Be our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. story is going to be interesting since I didn't do all that chase and uh, that decision of like like the the android the friend dying her like smile. so it's going to be different it's going to be a different I don't know other ones. Hang on, let me go back. Threaten, fire warning, threaten, question, push away. I guess that would have all led to something else. Offer cookie. Alice isn't hungry. Hmm. Look through window, look at pirate. Oh. I forgot to look at the pirate. Oh, so we're back at the we're still at the at the park. So I wonder if the questions are gonna be different because I didn't um, you know, I didn't kill that other android. I wonder if you could do all the other things over here. Let me see. He's leaving. Oh, you have to talk to Hank. Okay. You go on the merry-go-round. Whee! Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Now he's gonna be like, um... Can I ask you a personal question, <coughs> Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Yeah, because he would have said something do, about, like, there. the two girls back there. In a way at me. So. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? 
Well, there must be some link. Could be a software problem that only occurs under certain conditions. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying you have no fucking idea. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? I wish we had found that girl that killed that guy. Maybe she had a reason. Oh, see, Maybe that was, was a just different way. Herself. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? Yeah, that was different because he n I never had him say I wish I would have found her you back look at the human, club. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. Nothing else matters to you but your goddamn investigation, huh? Uh, no doubts. No mistakes. No weaknesses. Human being just like me. Only perfect. Nothing matters more to me than this investigation. But I understand if you have a different point of view. Oh shit. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. Oh. But fuck. are you afraid to die, Connor? Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Oh. Nothing? Shit, fuck. Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Oh shit, that was different. That was different. That was a different path that I took. That was a different... Yeah, I never was cold with him because I just feel like he would be cold with Hank. I mean, this whole time with him. Oh shit, it's Marcus. Oh shit, this is the freeing everybody. Oh yeah, because this is where Marcus got shot. There's gonna be more to it. Back at Jericho. <coughs> we can't stay silent anymore. Excuse me. It's time humans heard what we have to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. Oh shit. That's the only way. Leave my allergies are bothering me. What do you want to do? <sighs> Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where Oh, we're this is at the hotel. Oh yeah, shit. I forgot about this one. Let's see what time it is. I don't have my phone with me. 
Hang on one second. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Okay. 12.33. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Oh, they don't have the full number. I was like, I wonder if somebody actually called her. Called that number. Elizabeth Wilson. Nest manager. Water service interrupted. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Good morning, Ms. Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You'd better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. Somebody backed into it. <sighs> I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Is that Hurricane Katrina? Buttons are pretty cool, like in an elevator. Alright. Find package in men's bathroom. Find somebody's package in the bathroom? Uh, okay. this way. Oh, I forgot to mention, I guess, if you get, I would, uh, I'd have to wait until I get some more memory on my PlayStation 4, because I guess with the deluxe edition of Detroit Become Human, the digital, digital one, you also get Heavy Rain, and I've never played Heavy Rain before, so I'm like, that would be another, um, a plus in getting, um, the digital version of Detroit Become Human, the, the deluxe edition.
Yeah, this is the utility Android, I think, right? Right? Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Maybe not. Um, I'm trying to walk here. Hey, get out of my way. Utility robot. Oh, isn't the way? Uh... No, it's not this way. It might be this one over here. No, he would be on cam. Yeah, see, he would. Everybody would see what he's doing. forget where he's at. Oh, isn't that it? No, I just... It's just a... Can I push that one? I thought I could probably push that. Wait a minute. Circles, what the fuck? Um, I always get lost trying to find the utility robot. I feel like I'm just going in circles. I thought I could do something to this, and I guess I can't. This is a utility robot. What are they talking about? I always get stuck on this. Like, what's it? What's it mean? Like, why does it? Like, you should be able to. Is 
in the bathroom? No. Oh, I always hate this part because I don't know what it's talking about. Cause it's like, don't you like sabotage it or something? Oh, maybe it's over here. Don't I, like, infect this one? I need your help. Oh, okay. That's what I had to do? Okay, what the fuck? It's it to find the, the mate? Oh, whatever. escape door. I think it's this one. <clears throat> Man, this is some, like, uh, Mission Impossible shit right here. <laughs> We're all disguised and everything. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Hey, you still play poker? Oh, yeah. You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. There we go. Here it comes. Oof. Oof. Makes me cold just looking out there.
ladies first. Okay. Why wouldn't I be? Come on. Yeah, he was just asking, chill out, North. Jeez. <clears throat> nope. Wrong one. Let's do this. is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? What are you doing? Shoot! I hope you didn't just get us all killed. We need Marcus to record our message. 
Run them as tough. Marcus would not shoot him. I just don't see him shooting that guy. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own, but Something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species, and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. That makes sense. I like that. We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future I for humans and I think that's what Marcus would say. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. <sighs> They're coming! Let's go! Oh boy. Simon, oh. they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! I think Marcus would not kill Simon. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. 
If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. What could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, Tell you can what, we still AI, trust man. our machines? It's going to be interesting. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I could kill Simon. Ugh. I really don't like Amanda either. I'm not a big fan of hers. I think she's on the boat. Um, I think she's over here. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, she's back this way. Okay. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Wait, where's she at? Where the fuck is she at? Where did she go? Uh, I hear you, but I don't see you. Oh, she's right there. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I went to the Eden Club, but I didn't learn anything new. That's disappointing. Looks like another missed opportunity. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? Perturbed. Perturbed. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I am of no importance. The mission is all that matters. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. I just feel like running out. Connor wouldn't. I don't know. He. I think Connor would be like, "There's something wrong with Amanda." I don't. Don't under. Don't really. Oh, here comes her cheese. You stop that with that coin trick. <laughs> He's getting perturbed. Hey. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Lieutenant. Oh. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it. Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was going to be a shitty day. <laughs> so what do we got? A group of four androids. 
They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and brought... Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? Hmm. You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI would take you over the investigation, you'd soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. <sighs> we ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now I might the stream time until like the two hour food. mark. I, think that's I might play a game of basketball, then I'm probably gonna go to bed. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. There he goes again. Drink he, he, that fucking blue bud. The blue bud. The blue bud. The blue bud. DVM shot.
State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Huh. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. How about this one? They can interrogate like all three of them, I guess? Guards and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. They managed to smuggle in a big bag like that. They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Yeah, I was gonna say they brought him oh, in through the strange. elevator. They planned a perfect operation, but got the number of parachutes wrong. Okay. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. Yeah, Simon did not make it at all. I think it's kind of fun to actually I mean I don't have my schedule as you know for Fridays or Saturday because I always think in Friday and Saturday is my long time I just you know my long days that, sh that work so I'm like I'd be too tired to stream but you know it's not too bad after I get a monster in me I'm pretty good for a little bit and then I start wearing off it starts wearing off and I'm like Ugh, I'm tired I want to go to bed so I definitely probably won't be streaming tomorrow night, so I probably won't stream again until, ooh, I don't know, after tonight. I don't know when my next stream will be. It's hard to say. It might be during the week, some, some, somewhere, somehow, somewhere, one day, I don't know. Save it, it's too late. We'll just get ourselves killed. I can't remember. I can't remember what I did last time. A lot of options. Connor was traumatized. Simon self-destructs. Okay. Maybe they won't find Jericho now. I don't know. It's going to be kind of curious because I feel like if I, say, if I went to Simon, I feel like they would have found the the android so 
Actually, I think... Alexa, what time is it? Okay, I think I'm gonna stop it here after this cutscene. Um, and then I think I'm gonna play a game of basketball and then... I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna go to bed, so... I don't know when... I'm, I kinda wanted to play more Detroit Become Human for another, like, hour, but I'm starting to get super tired, so... I think I'm just gonna end it here and then I'm gonna oh I was okay uh what was what I was saying is I think I'm gonna just end it here for Detroit become human I'll be back in a few minutes to play basketball so just give me a little bit or just give me a few minutes